everybody, welcome back to Zephyr's Travels. In this week's video, we continue our travel along I-40 and Route 66 through New Mexico and Arizona. But we start our video here in Clovis, New Mexico, where we found a Harvest Host location to spend the night. And we're going to show you that now. And then we will continue our journey through New Mexico and into Arizona, where we find some interesting things to check out, like the Petrified Forest and Winslow, Arizona. So join us. We're at a Harvest House location. This is Winds Rush Alpacas, and it's in where? Clovis, New Mexico. And we stayed here the night, and we just kind of walked around and fed the alpacas this morning with some alpaca snacks. And so we're just going to roam around a little bit, and I believe they have a store here as well, so we'll check that out. But it was very nice. They only have three spots every night so yep. if you're interested in staying here like we said it, it's really worth the visit yeah and uh you know it's a nice comfortable place to stay the night it's easy in easy out easy to find outside of clovis so it was a good location right you know it's so just typical to these you know harvest host locations you know a lot of them are a little bit off the beaten path and for us this was, we came off of i-40 so we had about a oh you know, 45 minute drive mm -hmm. to get here yeah um, so you have to plan for that if you're looking but there wasn't really anything else closer and it turned out to be a very nice nice location and nice place to spend the night yes yeah. and like I said um, we highly recommend it if you are traveling through this area right we highly recommend harvest hosts if you're traveling for them too so. right right if you yeah harvest hosts are a great deal yep <laughs> It's a nice horse.
Can I help you guys? Do you have a spot for tonight? We're actually closing. You're closing? We're closing down for two weeks. Oh, okay. So we're not picking any more. We're not picking any RVs at all. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. But okay. We're not letting any visitors in. Nobody's coming in. We'll just have to turn them right back around. I understand. Okay. understand. Thank you. I appreciate it. You okay. guys be safe. Okay. You too. Okay. You can go ahead and turn me on right here. Okay. Okay. Well, we're stopped. This is our fifth day of travel, and I figured I'd do a quick wrap up of uh, where we're at and kind of our experience for the day. We started this morning out with a you know staying at a Harvest Host last the, last night and kind of getting to meet the owner of the Harvest Host and walk around and seeing the alpacas and such. It was an alpaca farm, and that was a lot of fun. We really really enjoyed that. And so from there, we were pretty much just going to drive to a casino in Albuquerque, New Mexico, where they had a campground. And that was our plan. It wasn't a real long drive day, but it was just something to kind of break it up. Um, fortunately, we got to the casino and they had decided to close everything because New Mexico at this time is doing what they're calling a reset, but basically they're closing non-essential businesses, including casinos and our you know, recommending people to stay at home if they can. So that kind of put a damper on us being able to find a place to spend the night. So what we ended up doing was we, we left there, we're now on the other side of Albuquerque, about 50 miles, and we just pulled into a truck stop. And we've got a spot way back here in the corner. Hopefully it won't be too noisy. Um, you can see behind me the truck stop. There's not a lot of trucks here is one of the reasons we picked here. There was a rest stop coming up but we figured that might be kind of crowded and noisy and so we picked this spot. Hopefully it works out for us. Um, you can see we're parked. Our stuff will run this side. You can see we're parked here in the back corner of the lot. If I swing around you can see there's the entrance. There's most of the trucks are staying down that end so it's not too bad. But, uh, you know, we're heat something up for dinner here and, you know, spend the night here. It should work out all right. Not the most level spot. We are kind of up in the front. I probably could let a little air out of the uh, airbags on the truck and lower it down a little bit if I wanted to. But it'll be all right. You know, I th we've slept like this before. So that's the update for today. This is day five of our travels. And... You know, just a, just a road day, I guess. Really not a lot. We didn't do any sightseeing on this trip, on this day. Um, partially because of the shutdown that, you know, New Mexico is experiencing. We we knew a lot of things were going to be closed, so it was really only going to be type visual type of sightseeing. If we saw something that was open, that we could drive by, that was kind of neat to look at, we could do that. But otherwise, there really wasn't going to be much sightseeing with the restrictions that are on going on today. Tomorrow we should get into Arizona and we'll see what goes what happens there. So this overlook 
kind of looks like a construction site. <laughs> All these piles of, you know, these little hills and stuff look like piles of dirt. Uh huh. But yeah, just more more hills, but another beautiful location. True. It's kind of a neat drive. Great yeah. way to get off the highway and spend a little bit of time. Yeah, get a little bit of break. Yep. Perfect day for it. Yeah, it's. I mean, while the temperature is not super hot, which is very nice. Well, it's about 65. Yeah, the sun is very warm. Right. And there's no wind. Right. Which I guess is a little unusual probably, which is well, appreciated. Yeah. Yeah, unlike New Mexico where we ran through <laughs> yeah. some very, very windy conditions. Yeah. Yep. So, yeah, it's very nice. So we're going to kind of ride through the park and check out some things. There's supposed to be some paved paths that you can take your dogs on so Monty and Zephyr can explore with us, so that'd be fun. Well, to continue on with our Route 66 theme, this is a point where Route 66 crossed through the Petrified Forest uh, National Park. And so apparently these guys didn't make it to California, but I'm sure a whole bunch of other people did. Those are pretty rocks. Or yeah, hills. Hills. Too big to be a rock. I suppose. Uh, yeah, the different layers. Mm -hmm. And even here we can see kind of a band Kind yeah. of goes through them. Like a, a band of clay. Yeah. Probably a different time period. Yeah. Probably. Of course, if we walk up to that sign up there, it tells us all about it. So there was a river through here one time. Yeah. 225 million years ago. So you could find fossilized plants and such in the rock. Historic sawmill because all these logs look like they've been cut perfectly unless they break maybe that's it maybe they uh, they just shatter I guess we're gonna have to find a ranger to ask to find out So what do you think of the petrified forest? It was very impressive. Yeah, it was it was really neat to be able to walk on a path right through it. Yeah. Yeah. And one of the nice things is it's pet friendly, so you can bring your dogs. It's one of the few spots in the national parks that you can take your dog because it's a paved path. Yeah, and I think they enjoyed it. They like to, you know, sniff at everything do their own exploring. They enjoy just getting out of the car and going for a walk too, which is always good for all of us. OK, 
getting late in the day, but I think we have time for one more stop. And we're going to go stand on a corner in Winslow, Arizona. that's going to do it for this week's adventure we hope you enjoyed the video if you did please give us a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to the channel already subscribe hit the bell for notifications so you can follow along in our adventures leave us a comment and until the next time guys we will see you down the road thanks for watching